Yo, 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 we back in this thing. What's hey, going on, Dre? Hey, hey. Oh, man. I'm glad to be here with you again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's, it's, it's always a pleasure to see you. It's always a pleasure to be in the same space. You know, hopefully when all this stuff is over, we could actually literally be in the same space. Uh, I know, right? I'm looking so forward to that. I'm ready for that day to return. My goodness. But I ain't trying to rush it. I want it to be right. Talk about that. Yes. To be right. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I see you shining, man. I see you shining over there. I'm trying. We have to. We got to shine in our memory and our glow. You know, mm. a lot has happened the past couple of days. Mm. A lot has happened the past couple of days. And so I'm trying to maintain, keep it, keep it, keep it above, above not above board, keep it above, keep it, keep my head up. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm just trying to keep my head up. Word to Tupac, for real, because honestly, there's just, there's just a lot. There's a lot going on. And I mean, you know, we, we are out here trying to shine in order to honor a shining prince, king, who has fallen. Yeah. Who has fallen. Incredible. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Too young. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Say his name. Say his name. Say his name. Chadwick Bozeman. Chadwick Bozeman. So, you know, if, 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 if folks haven't heard yet, you know, he passed away from stage four colon cancer, um, you know, at the age of 43 and didn't share that with folks. No one in his circle shared it with folks. You know, he wasn't looking for pity. He continued doing his purpose on this earth, which was not only being an actor, but inspiring others, loving others, and just being a, a breath of fresh air, a breath of fresh air. Always showing up, always showing up. It's so easy. I mean, it gives you perspective. It's so easy, like, oh, I'm having a hard time, and this, that, and the third, you know, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. Oh, actually, one little back reference. Mm-hmm. I was leading a workshop, and a, a parent shared that. You know, I'm just talking about this, that, and the third. Maybe right ah. But just, you know, that's a little post shadow for mm-hmm. our loyal followers. I think, um, yeah, he really kept it moving, and it's really powerful to think about that and impressive to understand and comprehend what this man was about and how he chose to, you know, stay relevant, be active. I was thinking about it in terms of um, what is on his platform, all that he did. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. People don't tell me that, I mean, James Brown, Thurgood Marshall, Jackie Robinson, like, major figures mm. telling their historical pieces for our American society, all while having serious medical issues. Mm. You know, serious medical, like serious, it took his life. Mm. You know, and then to do Black Panther. You know, like all of that, all of that, when being physically um, probably weak, mm-hmm. breaking down, struggling, trying to find his way, like that's, think about that. Really stop and think about this. It's deeply impressive and absolutely incredible. Mm. I'm blown away. And it's it's, it's it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And no no lie, like (coughs) go get your colon cancer, go get that check, Mm -hmm. get checked out. This is one of the number one killers of black men Mm -hmm. in American society. And uh, if caught early enough, this potential is possibly preventable in most cases. You know, so and that's, it's also, it's a pain. I lost an uncle and a grandfather too. Mm. Painful mm. way to go. Mm. It's a painful way to go. Mm. So, you know, to, to still kept, have kept going with right. all that, come on now. That's, oh that's resilience to the bone. Mm. Talk about that. And, you know, I having a conversation with Amanda, for folks who don't know, she's definitely, <clears throat> she's in medicine on her way to be a doctor. And, you know, talking about... <clears throat> Usually they say 50 years old is when you should go get your colonoscopy. Um, but for black folks in particular, you know, they're saying it's more like 40, 43, 44, 45, and particularly thinking about your, your family's history, uh, medical history. That's something that's important too. And you know, there's a lot of reasons why we don't trust, um, you know, medicine, medical doctors, and a number of things that we go into historically. Yeah. Um, but it's important. It's important for us to get ourselves checked out when we can. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And I know, and for men, or anybody, but for men, that is not the most pleasant examination mm-hmm, mm-hmm. experience at all. But the the other side of it is is just terrible. And this is we I think it's important for us to say that we're not calling a judgment call on um, 
Ms. Bozeman, because we don't know his story. Mm -hmm. what it's not it's absolutely testifying to we're saying to the folks who are listening and watching. Yes. Get yourself checked out. And I understand the fear. We, we, there's, as, you, as you mentioned, there's a lot of historical references and points to take you back and be like, I ain't going to no doctor. And wow. that's an important piece about representation too, because like I, I was having a conversation with a man, and I'm like, but isn't it like this? But isn't it like that? She's like, actually, no. With modern technology, this, that, you know, all this stuff is actually not that bad. But again, there's a lot of reasons that we might be fearful. There's a lot of reasons why we might not be trusting. Um, but that's why representation is important. That's why we need more black doctors. Yes. Um, in a lot of different ways, because. <coughs> That's how we become comfortable. That's how we start to make yeah. it part of our daily routine and our health check and our health routine because we're comfortable. People know us. They see us. They understand that we experience pain too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. This is equally. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you for all that. And I, I, I have to pick up on a moment, something you said. You described your wife as being in medicine. That was fantastic. I loved mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Your wife's in school to be a doctor mm -hmm. in medicine. Yes, yes, sir. I love it. I love it. Of course, you put, you put a little colloquial portman too. You know, what's she doing? She in medicine. <laughs> it's like, yeah, she has committed her entire life to studying for like 10 years straight. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Oof. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, she's, she's doing the thing. She is doing the thing. So like, I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate because, you know, I'm, I'm that dude. I'm that same dude who, you know, regardless, I have insurance, th thankfully. I have insurance and I, I can go to these places but do I, do I do it? I sometimes need to remind myself, have you, when's the last time you've been to the dentist? When's the last time you've been to the doctor? When's the last time you did, all these things. So, you know, I'm guilty, I'm guilty. So it's really important that we think about self-care and self-maintenance. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's, it's, also, it's also like the other side of it is, I mean, I grew up with the grandmother that was like, you go to the hospital, you're gonna get sick, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just all the, all the little, all little fears and stuff in us, but mm. you're right. It's important to get checked out. Mm. I oh. noticed your, your, your garb is uh, oh. celebratory. Oh, listen. So when a man and I went to go see Black Panther for the first time, because we went back and saw it a second time, and we copped the Blu-ray later, right? So when we went to go see it for the first time, we showed up and showed out. We put on our joints, you know what I mean? A little dashikis. We had to, we had to do it for Zora. We had to do it for Zora and show up and make sure that we really celebrated the event for what it was. Yeah. You know, it came out in it came out in February during Black History Month. You know, you got a black director. You have like a predominantly black cast um, from all different parts of the diaspora, which is beautiful. And it was just really a great time to see ourselves on the screen, not being thugs, not being gangsters, and all these other things but really celebrating ourselves for all of our beauty, our brilliance, our resilience, our strategy, organization, mm -hmm. all of that. So that's with why I'm rocking this today. With a deep, complicated message. Mm -hmm. I walked out being like, the Killmonger have a point? You know, what happened to Killmonger? Killmonger is like the voice of us. Like, mm -hmm. ain't none of us living in Wakanda, but a whole lot of us know what's up with Killmonger. Mm -hmm. Talking about that. Mm -hmm. I really walked out being like, yeah, if somebody has all these resources, how dare they sit with all of them and not not come back mm. and share and populate and and you know give give some vibrating at least to like Joe and them on the corner, right? You know, give them a little piece so right. they can do something. So that was for me. I was like, okay, Marvel, Marvel, Marvel does that. They give you a little message. It's not so clear cut. Everybody's mm. not clean like Superman, superhero. Yeah. Like, oh, you got you got a few things going on in your heart. That ain't right. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I see you shining, brother. What's that garb? You know, it's this is my this is my piece, brought back made by the women in Ghana. I had to come out and represent. And these, I mean, they they make these things. This when it's hot, this stuff is cool. Mm -hmm. People breeze over the around. They got a little pocket right here. Mm. What we'll talk? What? Uh, That's where you put the little fifth of brown juice. You know what I mean? Go <laughs> ahead. But actually, nowadays. It's the hand sanitizer. True, 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 true. <laughs> well, I know yeah. that. Why you doing? you doing? you doing? I hear that. I hear that. Pull out. So yeah. So that's it. How about we got we got so into the conversation? But I think it's important, and I have mm -hmm. no judgment on that. And we didn't talk about our little sips. 
No, we, yeah, we got to toast. Let me just throw something on real quick. Shout out to Josh. I just want to throw this on before we get into it in honor of our, our fallen brother, uh, you know. Oh, see. Josh is so extra. Josh is so Harlem. <laughs> that's, that's beautiful. You know, just wanted to make sure. I was telling, I was telling uh, one of my colleagues, I was like, this year, this year at, 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 at my place of employment, this year at, at just pretty much life in general, it's, it's dedicated to the Black Panthers. Now, more way than one, more way than one, because we got, we lost Shabak Bozeman, and we're thinking about revolution and talking about what that looks like, talking about the man's, talking about what it means to be pro-black and self-love, et cetera. I mean, I'm dedicating that year. That's, that's, that's where I'm going with it. I, I may have two, two moments that I pull from, just from the last film. I mean, there's much, much, much more about this mm-hmm. gentleman. Mm-hmm. He had a whole, um, in a very short time, 43 years, had a list of performances that were mm-hmm. phenomenal. But I take back for Black Panther, but I want to take it to the schools. Um, I want us to bring back, you know, um, what Nakia shouts when homeboy rolls up on her. Don't sneak up on me, colonizer. <laughs> I love that. Like, let's call them colonizers. Let's identify. Let's identify that and then Umbaku. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I went, I've been, there been like a thousand meetings. I'm just like, can you I imagine? Can you imagine? Oh my God, yes. Yes. Can you, I can, can imagine. You? I have. They'd be like, I don't, what's hap- I don't understand what's happening. Mm-hmm. The, the tears would start flowing. Ooh. Ooh, we didn't, I like that. I like that. I like that. I well, like both, that. Both of those into the meeting. Listen, colonizer, that's not what I said. I love it. And then the barking, too. <laughs> barking, too. Oh, my goodness. So Absolutely good. love it. Absolutely love it. Let's, let's, yes. let's pour some out for the brother, man. Yes, yes, yes. yes. What, you, what you pouring out today? I got a little, it's, it's my favorite. You know, one of my favorites, one of my go-tos. You know? Okay, okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I decided to be a little regal today. Take it to a high level. Hey, now. The Hennessy VSOP. Yes, sir. Oh, there we go. A little bass. All right. Well, total little bass. That's, that's Hennessy. Hennessy don't play. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> Hennessy don't play. Hennessy don't play at all. Mm. Hey, but Hennessy, like, if you're going to pull me out, we're going to do this. Mm. Mm. Hen- that's Hen- you know what? Henny is like, Hennessy is, I don't want allies. I want accomplices. Talk about it. <laughs> that's Hennessy. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Well, actually, can I, can I throw in another? I got, I got to throw another note. Another please, another please. Note. And this is a connection with our last episode. Okay. That I think Brandy is an ally oh. and Monica's an accomplice. Oh. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> you felt it right away. I wish I had that last time, but that just came to me. That's, that's it. Yes, yes, yes. Today we're gonna to remember our, our man Chasman. Yes, Chad- Chadwick. Mm-hmm. I, Chadwick. I put I put them together. I already done it. Mm-hmm. To Chadwick Bosman. Yes, who is now in the ancestral plane. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Mm. Do we need to pour some out? Mm. A little, little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Mm. Woo! Yeah, yummy licious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he he um he delivered a lot to us. He gave us a lot in a very short time, and to think about what he was going through. No, can you imagine that? My goodness, My that work is intense and heavy. What's your what's 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 your, what do you think is his greatest gift to you? Hmm. Humility, I would say humility, and you know how people call, some folks might describe someone as being salt of the earth, or what you see is what you get. There's no, you know, because I'm a celebrity, I'm, you know, I I never, I've never had the opportunity to meet him, but all that I've seen him do, I never saw that, Mm -hmm. I never saw that. 
when he spoke to people, when he interacted with people, people I know who have met him, I've only seen humility. I've only seen humility. I've seen someone caring about the person who's across from them. I've seen some, someone who is deeply spiritual um, and connected through that spirituality with other people who are around him, understanding his gift and his purpose and what that means for others, not necessarily for himself. Mm. Um, so, so that's what I've seen, um, just watching as an onlooker um, and just thinking about all the things that he did, the important roles that he served in. Um, you know, because I'm thinking a lot of people might turn some of those roles down, either yeah, because right? of challenge or because they don't, they don't want to be, you know, a one note person, so to speak. I can't just yeah. keep doing all this stuff that yeah, I right? Right. you know, and then, you know, went to Howard, you know, a bison. Um, so just think about all these pieces of him. I still see the humility. I see the spirituality. I see the care and concern of other people. And I see himself being a regular human being with phenomenal and tremendous gifts, but not making himself seem like he's better than the next person. Right, right, right. And really giving and sharing those gifts with us. Mm -hmm. How about I'm, you? What's that? How about you? Yeah, I am. Um, I, ha I got a thought, but I'm going to respond a little bit to what you said because it, it touched me and made me think mm. about things. You know, for a while, I was like, who is this cat mm. playing all the roles? Like, <laughs> we another black, like another black person. And then I started watching. I was like, oh, that's because he got it. Mm. You know, and, and then now I'm like, oh, he also knew he had to do it. Mm. Like, think about, think about, and I, I saw Denzel Washington say this, think about from Sidney Poitier, mm to Chad, Chadwick and um, Black Panther. Mm. Loads of the field to Black Panther. Come on. Come on now. Mm. My, my, my appreciation, besides that, my appreciation for him, you know, and it was a humorous space, but it's real. When he was on SNL and did that Black Jeopardy, <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah. It was so good. Yes. For him to play this, like, like he just, he just did it. Him to play like Prince Chachala, you know, and they talked about two points get to me. One, when they talked about, you know, a police needing to be called. He goes, yes, we should call the legal department that will support help. We'd probably join along with them and offer the help, you know, and Keenan was like, wow, we should, <laughs> but that ain't the right answer, you know. And then, and then, let's break it down. He said, he said, okay, the, the question about the potato salad. He said, I'm assuming this woman's name is Karen. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, and they, made me, they made me go chicken and egg. I was like, what did that come on? So did he say Karen first? Was he picking up on Karen? Like, where, where did that come from? I had a, had a moment mm. when I wanted to do a little research. But the way he went down and broke it down, I was like, okay, I'm beginning to understand this. And it was such a, it was such a beautiful, I mean, it, it has multiple layers. Uh -huh, the discussion uh -huh. of someone being like, okay, my brother, you're talking about a culture I don't fully understand, but I think I get it. Yep, I have yep. connections with it. You know, because I'm kind of at the gate speaking as like any normal human being. She's like, oh, well, yeah. If something bad happens, you help somebody get better. Mm, it should be the way, but it's not. <laughs> okay, yes. Let's get to the potato salad. And when he broke it down, I'm imagining she does not season her potato salad. Doesn't put enough salt in it. When I heard that, I was like, "Oh my gosh!" You know. And then he went on. It was like, and she probably has like her own specific secret ingredients. She imagines something like raisins. <laughs> <laughs> and when he, I was like, "How did he not fall on the floor and die laughing?" Oh, I would have lost it. I, <laughs> and the funniest part is he's saying that. And you have Keenan say, all right, yeah, that's right. right, right, right. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and brilliant. He didn't have to turn around. He was like, that's it. He had to turn around. I was like, he was fucking up. Raisins. <laughs> what is, or oh, hell not. Nah. <laughs> like, so good, so good on so many levels. Like, so brilliant on so many levels. Like, that is, that is a recognition. You know, and then I saw him talking about it and I was like, yo, he really gets it. He's like, he's like, yo, this is real. You can't mm. just be showing up. Not everybody, everybody's like, who made potato salad? Mm. That's real, potato salad and the greens. Oh. Little play, 
life. Listen, life. Listen, don't do that. Potato salad, greens, mac and cheese. I want to know who made it. Right, right. I want to know who made it. Mm, 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 mm. Amazing, isn't it? Just amazing. Yeah. So, so I, yeah, he. I have deep respect for him. It's a, tr it's a tremendous loss. I had for me. You know, this was we talked about before. This was my monster week. Mm -hmm. I've been like going. Yes, through. yes. I did my ten sessions. And I can't. All of them were great. All of them were great. There was one or two, and I was like, mm, okay, we made it through. But number ten, it's like you know when you go to the gym, they say your first rep. Yeah. Last rep should be as good as your first rep. Yeah. Both of us. My last one, I was tired. It was early in the morning. I had finished my the night before, like 10 o'clock. I had to be there. 8 o'clock next morning. I was all right, slow down. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And it was great. You know, really powerful. And what I was, what I was doing, my whole, I've been, watching the, I've been watching the Marvel series and the sequence of how you should really do it to get to the last one. So, you know, I, it just so happened that Black Panther was my next one. Go figure. Mm. And I was sitting on the couch Saturday, Friday night, chilling, you know. I may have been sipping a little brown, trying to relax. And all of a sudden, my phone is like, ding, ding, ding. Tap, tap. And I was like, what's going on? Everybody's like, yo, Chadwick, yo, Chadwick, Chadwick. And I was like, what? I'm, I'm literally sitting here. I had just finished laughing at him barking at the um, hmm. uh, general, hmm. whatever his name was. But he walked in, he's like, I think we have to do it. And it's like, <laughs> you know, and I was like, ah, that's so funny. And they find, they find. And, and, right before, right when they find his body and run mm. over to it. My phone's going up. And I was like, universe, what are you doing to me? Mm. What are you doing to me? Mm. Um, you know, just, just heavy. Like, I was ready for Black Panther 5. Talk about it. You know? Mm -mm -mm. Heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. I'll tell you right now. One, he will live on in infamy for the work that he's done. Black Panther is phenomenal. And honestly, a class can be taught from that movie. Oh, forget about it. So I think now's the time for folks to get their curriculum together. If they weren't, if they weren't moved to do it before, now's the time to design an African-American history course that's required, not an elective, that really puts some of those pieces together that they were wrestling with about the diaspora and all the intricacies, complexities, beauty, struggle that's in, intertwined in that. I think that would be beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it, you know, it was, it was so, un, like it was so strong. I remember that last minute at that, the UN in Vienna. Mm -hmm. And you talking about, you know, Wakanda has decided to come forward and share our support and help. And somebody is like, what do you, a little rural, small country have to offer mm -hmm. the world? And they just kind of like, I think that was a knowing, we all had that knowing smile like, Mm -hmm. You don't realize what's inside of us. I have no idea. We're selling us short. We have deep, 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 deep offerings. Mm. And the reason why we haven't come forward is because y'all act a fool. Mm. We do come forward. So that's a word, that. brother. That is a that's word. It, right, isn't it? Because we got you. We got it. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, so yeah. I am I'm lucky we I feel very fortunate to have witnessed this. I went and saw it because this is my this is my life. And I'm a Miss New York for this moment. But this is what I would do. Certain movies, it's like Friday night Times Square movie. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that was one of those like I mean, you had to you had to get a ticket in advance because. But that was a Friday night time because everybody and their mother them coming. It's, it's an event. It's showing out. That's where I saw that Tupac movie. Woo! Mm. That's where I go see horror movies because this. You know, it's, it's little, it's baby, baby carriages in the aisle. Don't, like, don't touch <laughs> when you walk by. <laughs> um, I'm talking the ten o'clock show, not the five o'clock show. Mm. So, yeah, I went, I, I went and saw that the first time, in a movie theater in um, Times Square, and was like, people showed up like outfits, and I, in fact, then I was like, I had my little shirt, like, am I gonna notice? Thinking like, I'm, I'm just doing this, and I was like, oh snap, y'all got the whole. I mean, people coming in with drums, like, <laughs> I'm serious. And that, that was beautiful. Mm. Have you seen a little, they cute, and so that's to, that to say, I saw it in the theater five times. Because mm. I took, I was like, you need to come see this. Mm. Beautiful. 
Um, but I um, have you seen the, the some of the photos that kids been putting the, the little kids been putting up? Yes, yes, yes. I saw the one with the toys in the line and mm hmm. Chala laying out. Oh, mm -hmm. Black Panther. Oh, mm. it's also it's. I mean, there there is a, there's also the moment of like, damn. Mm -hmm. We can't win for losing. You know? Like, we can't win for losing. And I, I'm trying to be in a, pros a positive, good space to celebrate what's happening, but a 43-year-old actor who was prompt, prepared, and ready. Yes, there are a few people that could probably do it, but he had it down there. Yes. yes. And how are they going to handle that? Because it has to be a, a Black Panther 2, 3, 4, and 5. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, 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 a, there's a number of different pieces that have to come from that. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure the brilliance of Ryan Coogler and, you know, other oh. folks will make it work. But um, when you just said that, brother, it's like, you know, you, you know, we can't wait for losing. You know, just thinking about that, I'm like, I don't know why it came into my head. But I remember the sketch from Chappelle's show when Rick James was like, cocaine's a hell of a drug, right? 2020 is a hell of a drug. A hell of a drug. This ish is crazy. 2020 is a mess. Yo. We still got September, October, November, December. The cold like, can we end the year early? Right, totally. Can we, just, let's just, uh, can we call like a timeout, talk about it, and say, <laughs> you know what? We should, we should really think about dropping the ball on October 1st. Right. Like, we could have an extra few months in 2021. You'll want to think, should, can we do that? Like... The 16 month calendar was the original calendar with the Romans. So, I mean, can we make it happen? Because this is crazy. It is. Mm -hmm. Just horrifying. Mm -hmm. Upsetting, horrifying, confusing, terrifying, terrifying. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, there's, there's not a compass for the way forward. Oh, talk about it. And, and, there's, and there's not enough brown juice to pour out. It's not. It's not because. You know, there's a lot of things. We haven't even discussed a number of different things yet. Like, we haven't. There's just so much that's going on right now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you still have faith? I still have faith. Um, I'm not optimistic. I still have faith and I have hope. <laughs> but I've been sharing with a man. I'm like, listen, yo, sometimes I've been in these spaces where I'm like, I'm starting to lose hope. <laughs> but, I, but I hope that's not the case. I hope that's not the case. I still have faith. Mm -hmm. I think I will always have faith. Yeah. The minute I lose faith, it's over. Yeah. Honestly, the minute I lose faith, it's a wrap. Like, I need faith. Because without faith, what are you going forward for? There's a, there's, a lot, like, there's a lot of things that are fleeting. There's a lot of things you can't even grasp. There's a lot of things that are just not important. So right. without faith, so I will always have faith. Good. Good. Thank you. Know, Thank that's so good. That's so good. So important to hear. That inspires me. So thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad you do. Yes, sir. Glad yes, sir. The only way to do it. Only way it to do really it. Is. It really is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It well, it's it's brother. It's it's. So thinking about that young person who wants to be an actor, actress thinking about that person for the culture for Zora who looked at Chadwick as that star, the same way he might have seen Denzel Washington, right? What might be your words to this young person during these times when another one of their heroes, literally and metaphorically speaking, has transitioned? What might you impart on this young person to say, you know what, you got this, this is your way forward. You know, many of, many of, if you look at, you can Google and see Chad's speeches. Mm. A lot of his discussion was like, yo, it's all inside of you. The whole world, the whole universe, everything you need is right here mm. and right here. Bring those two together. Mm. The heart and the mind, attach that to your being and your existence and go forward and push forward hard. Don't let, be, be sad for a minute. Be upset. It's a big loss. Cry, fall on the ground, and then get back up. Get back up and keep going because the path has been laid out for you. The doors have been opened. 
it's, 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 a, it's an opportunity for you to go through them. Mm. Don't waver, don't give up, believe and know that you can. This has been laid out, prepared for you. Take advantage of it and do it. Mm. That'd, be, that'd be my big message. Um, I know it's hard. It's gonna be harder even as you go forward. But you gotta stay in that, stay in that faith, in that, uh, that path of belief. That's why I asked you if you had faith. Mm. You, answered, you answered the question I wanted to give you. Mm. And they say, I don't know what to say. I'm like, go to like 28 minutes into our last session, listen to what homeboy said about faith. Mm. That's my answer. Mm. That's my answer. Mm. Wow. Wow. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I appreciate um, you. Likewise. Likewise, good brother. And, you know, I mean, it's one of those moments where you give people flowers while they're here so they can smell them. It's important for that. And then you honor them when they do transition and they become ancestors whose shoulders you have to stand on because they've paid the way, they've done the work and I can only aspire right. to be a person that other folks can say, you know what, I stood on his shoulders. So that is the hope and that's what keeps me going. I'm with it, 125%. Yes, sir, yes, sir. That's beautiful, man. Oh, it's great. It's beautiful. So I guess anything on your mind for a final toast? Um, you know, to, they say Wakanda is not real, but we all know it's real. Mm. So to the realness that is Wakanda. Woo, love it. Love it. Yes, sir. Forever. Mm. Mm -hmm. Did it again. Did it again. Did it again. Brown Juice Barbershop, man. For Beautiful. sure. Beautiful. Well, until next time. Yeah, stay right on. Stay safe. Stay faithful. You know? You yeah. right stay, stay beautiful and stay, and stay in a space of knowing that you are loved, respected, mm. cared for, and heard. And like you said, you have everything here and here connected to, and you good. You yeah. are golden. Okay. Yes, sir. So, till next time. Peace. We out.